Hi students! Um, we haven't done a new dictation lesson on YouTube for quite a while, so I hope that this lesson today will push you a lot. We are going to practice a very difficult piece of pronunciation, um, but I hope by the end of the lesson you'll be able to come back and listen to the beginning and you'll feel much better. As always, when we come into dictation, remember that you're not seeing my face because I don't want you to be reading my lips. Um, I want you to only be focusing on the listening for the duration of the lesson. Our common reminders, every time that we do dictation, remember you're trying to write down as much as you can. Definitely you're not going to catch all of it, every sentence, every word, and that's okay. Remember it's always a progress of improvement. It's okay if you can't catch all of those words. I'm always going to read the sentence for you multiple times. If you can't catch, for, catch it after the first three times, don't go back again and again and again. Wait for the second practice, skip it, and wait until we talk about the sentence pronunciation towards the end. Be patient with yourself. This is always about improving your listening, adjusting your ear to the sound of spoken English. It's not about changing your pronunciation to sound like me. If you're ready, let's get started. Okay. Number one. What you been up to? What you been up to? What you been up to? Number two. What you wanting to get done? What you wanting to get done? What you wanting to get done? Three. What's she thinking about? What's she thinking about? What's she thinking about? Four. What you gonna be doing next weekend? What you gonna be doing next weekend? What you gonna be doing next weekend? Five. What's she planning to do? 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 Last one for number six. What you want me to work on this week? What you want me to work on this week? What you want me to work on this week? I hope you noticed that all six of these are a question. You definitely should have a question mark at the end of every phrase today. Let me read them for you one more time. Come back up to the top before we come into our explanations. Number one. What you been up to? Two. What you wanting to get done? Three. What's she thinking about? Four. What you gonna be doing next weekend? Five. 
five. What's she planning to do? And six. What you want me to work on this week? Whew. Pause the video, take a breath, check your punctuation before we come to our explanation. Now, before we jump into our full um, explanation of these dictation sentences, we're going to make a quick focus on that piece in numbers one, two, four, and six. And that piece is the whatcha. We have been practicing with whatcha in the classroom for a few months now, um, and we will continue practicing with this in the classroom. However, if you're not in my classroom, today might be the first time that you have heard or thought about this bad pronunciation of whatcha. So let's look at the whatcha first, and then we'll talk about the dictation sentences and how to take them apart. Um, whatcha is a poor contraction for the words what and you. That T at the end of what connects with the Y at the beginning of you with a sound of CH between them, and it's whatcha, whatcha. Now, the piece here in the middle will be the auxiliary verb, but it's completely deleted, it's completely gone in this reduced pronunciation. Which auxiliary verb depends on the context of the sentence. For example, I have three different sentences here on the right. What do you think? What are you thinking? And what have you been thinking? Each of these sentences can reduce to the sound of whatcha, and how would I recognize is completely dependent on this verb after. For example, what you think? What you think about that new movie? What you thinking about? You hear the in, thinking. What you thinking about? Ah, you look lost. What you thinking about? What you been thinking about this week? You hear the bin. What you been thinking about this month? Because of the bin, definitely the have. But all three of these very different verbs, very, very different auxiliary verbs, will reduce in a poor pronunciation of English to this whatcha. Okay, let's jump into our sentences and we'll look at how the whatcha occurs in them. Number one is, what you been up to? What you been up to? Again, that have is gone. What and the you connect for this whatcha. What you been up to? Number two. What you wanting to get done? What you wanting to get done? Here we see the R, I, N, G, present continuous. Again, that auxiliary is gone. The what and the you making the whatcha. Whatcha wantin? That ing is gone and you hear wantin. Get done. The T and the D pull together and you hear get done. Get done. Whatcha wantin to get done this week? Number three, I hope was much easier. What's she thinking about? What's she thinking about? But I want you to notice the she and the is pulling together. What's she thinking about? I push out a longer about. There are many, many people who will cut this bout. What's she thinking about? What's she thinking about? Number four, what you gonna be doing next weekend? What you gonna be doing next weekend? Again, that what and you coming together for the whatcha. Going to, shortening noun to the gonna. What you gonna be doing? And then the next 
pushes forward into the w of the weekend. What you gonna be doing next weekend? What you gonna be doing next weekend? We come to number five. What's she planning to do? What's she planning to do? Again, that S from the is and the she pushes together and you hear what's she? What's she? What's she planning to do? You don't hear a strong planning to. You hear planning to do. Planning to do. And our last one, number six. What you want me to work on this week? What you want me to work on this week? Again, that whatcha here with the do, the want me coming together, want me. What you want me to work on? Work on, work on, pushing together. What you want me to work on this week? One more time, let me read all six for you. What you been up to? What you wanting to get done? What's she thinking about? What you gonna be doing next weekend? What's she planning to do? What you want me to work on this week? All right, that's it. Um, I hope this was a good dictation lesson for you. I hope that I pushed you a little bit for your listening with that whatcha, whatcha. Let me know in the comments how you did, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, students.